Hello there, HFC Gaming with Just Cause 3. The reason I'm playing this game is because it was free on PlayStation Plus this month, and it still is until September the 8th, so if you haven't got it, I recommend you download it. Now, this is probably one of the best free games PlayStation has put as their free PS Plus games, I'd say for a while, or maybe even ever. I don't know all of them, I don't check. But it was complete chance that I checked and got this game for free. Anyway, in this video, I'm going to show you four vehicles and how to get them. Now these vehicles aren't just uh, the cars and stuff that drive around or the boats that drive around on the water or the planes that fly about. No. These are uh, four of the rarest vehicles in the game and you cannot find them driving about. You have to find them in specific locations. Some of them are hard to get. The first one is this Waymariner W3. Now this exists as a military car as you can see here but the civilian version, the W3 uh, you can only find on a specific island uh, and it's difficult to get. To get this car you want to go to this location here uh, the waypoint I've set or my location I'm basically there um, so you can pause here to get the coordinates or you can just sort of look and judge it's probably easier. It's the biggest out of the two islands between Grande Pastura and Ma Maestrale in the large region. So once you've arrived at these coordinates you should be on this sort of flat bit of land here and normally two of these vehicles spawn in different colors along with a bike which is irrelevant because that can be found by driving around um, right now the tricky part is to get these vehicles to land what you want to do is pick the one pick the one you like the color of even though you're probably gonna wreck it soon uh, and you want to drive down to the nearest beach the easiest way possible so drive to this sort of back corner is the easiest and then down here and along this ridge to get to the nearest beach okay once you're at the nearest beach you probably found it quicker than I did um, is you need to use your beacons to drop in this Urga Horoch it's a rebel boat um, it's a rebel boat yeah and you can transport cars and stuff on it it's very useful um, if you don't if you haven't unlocked that boat there might be a way to do it with a helicopter but I think it's much more difficult to use a helicopter to pick up um, the car and I don't I don't even know if it's possible Jesus right so, right so obviously get the rebel drop of the boat and using the right bumper or R1 on PlayStation you can activate that front lip thing which enables the cars to get on so you do that and you get in your car the boat sort of slides out so you need to be quick and that I'm not going to get the car on that am I? yeah I can no I cannot Jesus Christ right attempt number two there we are, perfect. Well, perfect parking. Right, so once you've got the car on the boat, you're just going to want to get in the cabin of the boat. Obviously lift that up if you don't want the car sliding out, which I don't think it will anyway. And there's two ways of going about this. You can take the boat and the car to the nearest land and climb up the rocks, although personally I find that quite difficult. Even though it's a good off-roading car, um, it's, it's difficult to um, climb up a cliff. I don't even know if that's possible. Anyway, the next way is to simply take your boat down to the nearest sort of area of land, like a port or something. So there's a port here, or there is a port up here. Um, this one's nearer, so there's no point going into the uh, other one. Yeah, just go to this one, it's nearer, unless there's a piece of land, like a beach or something, that you can get on on either side. Um, and then you just set a waypoint and drive the thing down to um, a garage. And, hey presto, you have got your car. But, obviously I've already got it, so I can just sort of flip it into the ocean. Okay, so the location of the next car, the Verdelon 3. Um, the nearest fast travel point is up here. This cloudy crevice tour, cloudy crevice tour, is the nearest fast travel point. So if you fast travel over there, and then you set a waypoint on the map, just to the left, you can see this sort of rectangular structure. That's the warehouse that the 
car is situated in. So since the wingsuit tour is high up off the ground, the start of the wingsuit tour is high up the, up the ground, you can just wingsuit down there easily. Once you've arrived at the garage, you arrive at the back of the garage here, and you can walk in through these big doors, and there should be three or four cars lined up in a row here, um, different colours. You just take one of them, set a destination down to Mario's garage, sorted. The next vehicle we're going to be looking at is the, Mar uh, the Mugello Farina Duo, it's the Formula 1 car of the game. Now, there's an easy, the easiest way to get this car is by going on your map, going down to Regeno, the um, province, and in the top left there's this City Sprint Challenge. Uh, fast travel there. Okay, and you want to start the challenge. Um, the recommended car, the standard car for this event, the challenge default, what they call it, is this car. Um, so if you just start the race and finish the race with one cog because you're going to have a piss, the car is kept. Like, you can stay in the car. Whether you have the car or not, you can actually stay in the car and then you simply just drive down to the nearest Mario's garage. Don't know where it is, but you set a waypoint in the town of City di Rovello. Okay, for the fourth and final vehicle, which is a boat, the Squallow X7, the, this is the hardest one to get down to a garage. Okay, so the nearest fast travel location to uh, the boat is this Regatta Lac Laco on in Littoratorto, the bottom, this lake at the bottom here, sort of triangular shaped lake. Just fast travel to here. Just uh, pop over here to these, this sort of ruin, massive circle ruin pit here. And inside you'll find the boat you're looking for. The Squallow X7 and in all its glory is just there. However, it's not easy to get. Since we're on this private lake, it's you can't just, you know, go over to the sea and go to Mario's garage. No, 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 no. This one's annoying to get. What you're going to have to do is drive out, follow the route I'm taking, uh, but probably drive slightly better than I am. Yeah, follow the route I'm taking. You want to sort of go out of that exit and go past these ruins here. Oh my lord, my driving is horrible. Uh come around this way to the outside of that circular structure you were in and you want to drive as fast as you can up to this beach and well beach yourself on it as fast as you can so you can try and get up to the road of which I succeeded right to get this boat I must add using this technique you need maxed out tethers in the gear mod section you use your tether and try and get up the road as far as possible. Well, not as far as possible, but you get up the road. Once you've got to this hill area, you want to direct your boat down the hill. Um, so you go down the hill that way. In that case, you don't need to use tethers all the time. And at the bottom of this hill, as you can see, on the map where we are, if we go down this hill, it's the sea. Once you got to the sea, you can just go to a garage, it's, it's easy. You got it, it's quite bumpy here, and there is a risk of blowing up. I didn't manage to do it first time when I did this. As you can see, I think my boat is smoking now and it's on fire so I'm not going to be able to do it bollocks Go. you see that didn't work but most of the time it does so try a couple of times get down to the sea and once you're in the sea it's an easy job setting a destination to a garage a port garage so you can sort of just uh, this one is probably the best so you can rock down and you can just pull up by the side of the port and um, save the boat uh, obviously that didn't work that was a crap example of how to do it but you just do it like that that was the four vehicles that are rarest and hardest to get thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next video because i have pre-ordered need for speed payback uh, the deluxe edition so i'll be able to play it three days early and the same with the crew too so i'll be playing those three days early and um 
I'll see you in those videos. Have a good day. Shit. Fucking hell he bounces.